Ja, Shalom, come to the name of Yahweh, Bashi Mashiach, Bashi Makach with us. Um, double honors unto the apostles and the elders that great men who taught me the truth and salutes unto the Archim that continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity. I was actually just doing this video and then I got a call, kind of messed it up. So, um, yeah, here we go, take two, but um, it's all good. But yeah, I was meant to do a video on this in the week, but I didn't get around to doing it, man. But I saw the spirit, but I thought about it, you know, found the article. And just bring it out, man. And um, yeah, storms forecast for parts of England and Wales after a mild weekend. After the UK's warmest New Year's Eve and New Year's Day on record, the Met Office has issued a warning for heavy storms in part of the in parts of southern England and Wales. Um, forecasters said the fast moving thunderstorm could result in sudden flooding, lightning strikes, and disruption. Road closures, power cuts, and damage to trees and buildings are possible. Um, uh, let me just get the main points, man. Here in this paragraph, it says there may be a, this may these may be accompanied by lightning, um, hail, and strong winds with low risk that some places could see gusts of fifty miles per hour. Fifty miles per hour gust is quite fast, man. You know that's how fast the wind is moving. That's quite fast, and wind's really powerful. So going at fifty to sixty miles per hour here, it says even seventy miles per hour. Oh my goodness, this, this is crazy, man. Okay, blizzard conditions of some drifting of snow on higher level route is likely. Gusts of 70 miles per hour and exposed coast will generate some large waves and dangerous coastal conditions in, few, in a few places. So this is a... Uh, talking the lightning, um, let me see some... Because I, I, I saw another article on BBC, Longest Lightning. Lightning strike UK. This was a few days ago, so I'll be very disappointed if I don't find it. Um. Right. Let's see. But where I'm um, wasn't it in the UK? I'm sure it was the UK. I don't even know. But yeah, this was it. Cause it was a few days ago. Right, let's see if we can find out. Start it. end of end of the world warning. <laughs> Air Express is, is funny, man. Um, yeah, end of your world, mate. Record breaking 500 mile lightning strike puts experts on alert. 500 miles, oh, wow. And we, you know, that ain't no coming. That's them angels, man. That's the angels controlling the, the elements, man. Letting, letting E know is the end, man. The end of E. Hey, so like that's an inside good joke, man. But hey, <clears throat> I don't even want to read this, man. If I'm honest, I don't want to read this. But there's the point, man. You have a five, as they said in the article, five. That's like the distance between London and Germany, man. 500 miles. Do you know how long that is? For one lightning strike. <laughs> you know, you can't even say, well, what country did it? Because, look, it's, that's, that's, in, that's an intercontinental lightning strike. Wow. Uh, let me get that uh, precept I had, man. This is Nahum 1 and 3, and it says, The Lord Yahweh is slow to anger and great in power. Yeah, if you can... Come on, man. The Lord's having lightning strikes. Pure energy strike. Nation, like... Like internationally, man, it's the Lord showing His anger, showing His power, man. I will not at all acquit the wicked. So that the Lord Jehovah Bashem Yahshai have His way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of His feet, man. You know, and that's that's true for that. Uh, if I'm not going off, I believe that's speaking about actual um whirlwinds and storms, but. In the world, in the, in, the, in the cloud, that's also the chariots, man. You know? And a lot of the time, you think it's lightning, it's actually beams getting shot out of chariots, man. Just that you can't see them, you know? They appear when they be, they appear when they want to be seen, and they, you know, more, more time, the chariots always above us, man. You just don't see them, you know? But then when it's time to, to catch them on camera, they, they make themselves visible, man, to let you know. 
you know, they're, they're lurking, they're really waiting, man, you know, um, you know, Matthew 24 speaks about this stuff, um, See something, shall second Ezra's nine and two. In fact, let me just get second Ezra's nine. In fact, let me do it here. Yeah, second verse nine and two. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, you know, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days which were before thee, even from the beginning. Now, you know, earthquakes that that in that in that includes all kind of um, geographical. Um, Mishaps, if you will, earthquakes, storms, floods, famines, you know, all of these things, man. You've got rumours of wars at the same time, that's heavy, it says it in the same verse, because you got it at the same time, you got Russia and, um, oh, what's that country, just came out of my head, but what the fuck, um, ah, oh, man, Ukraine, the Baltic Sea area, and we keep an eye on that as well, but, you know, we know that nothing's going to happen. Even if they have a little scuffle, nothing's going to happen um, until the chip is made mandatory, man. So that Russia, Ukraine, Baltic Sea little thingy, like we said, this prophecy, rumours of wars, we keep our eye on it, we do videos on it, stuff like that, but that ain't no, look, bro, it's World War Three, Valley of Jehoshaphat type of stuff, because... We know that this prophecy, is, aka the major prophecy, the mark of the beast, has to be implemented first. So this Russia thing ain't going to pop off and start World War Three until the mark of the beast has been implemented. So, you know, it's exciting to see, but brothers, I speak to myself first and foremost, don't get gas, man. Don't get gas because of the old tension with the rock. That ain't, ain't nothing happening until the chip comes, man. Okay, and plus they got all gang up against America anyway. So, this little thing going on with Russia and in the Baltic Sea and who's sending ships past what border and doing this and that. Yeah, it's all bubbling up, but it ain't the actual thing, man. You know? It ain't the actual thing. But, um, yeah, you know, earthquakes, man. So, you got a lot of an anomalies going on, man. <clears throat> you got a lot of things going on, man. But, um, yeah. This is big, man. A 500 mile like, lightning strike. Yeah, the Lord is moving, man. I'm moving that I'm out, man. Shalom.